All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a split here. Uh, went out with Julius from Real Addiction earlier in the week, back at the spillway. He absolutely tore him up. I caught no keepers. So, end of the video is gonna be all Julius. Just basically, I'm his net man and his camera guy for the day. So, you guys, hopefully you'll like that. He really got on some good perch, but I had to redeem myself. So, I came back out by myself I'm on the other angle of the spillway, usually up behind me is where you'll see Julius later in the video. But um, I wanted to get a different angle, so I came down here, pitching it off the wall, different things like that. Um, I think I got on some pretty good perch, a couple, couple jumbos, um, bite was good. Uh, not, not too much of a multi-species like it usually is, but we got some spillway fishing. As you guys know, a spillway is the water that's running off from the dam. It never freezes, it's deep right here. These fish sit here, it runs right into a creek. It's basically just overflow from the dam, constantly running. You got every kind of species you can imagine here. So we're gonna get into it. We'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right. First cast, water's a little bit dirtier than usual. I got a rattle trap on, guys. I'm gonna try to see if we can pull a walleye or something big out of here. I got minnows. I'm gonna try to fill the bucket up, but first I wanna make sure there's no big ol' big ol' walleye just wanting to get some. Put this around a little bit, and we'll get the uh, minnows going. How's that for a small perch, guys? First one. That's a little guy. Here you go, buddy. If I can find somewhere to keep my middle bucket down here. It's not real slippery, but I don't want to. Casting right out in front of me, and they're killing those those minnows. But slowly getting bigger. That's four. Last two borderline keepers. Worth keeping if you got a bunch of slabs, but I'm not keeping a bucket of those. So let's we'll see. I want a couple of them jumbo in here? I almost start filling that bucket. Usually we're up fishing from up top there, but today I want to give you guys a different angle since. Been doing a lot of these uh, spillway videos. It's just producing big fish, big crappy, big perch. There we go again. Turn on cue. Come on. Need the size to pick up a little bit though. Fish are here. There we go. Finally, got a keeper. Ah, that's a keeper. felt good hit it good they're kind of off the wall compared to what they usually are a couple of jumbos to hit me but we'll be throwing those back all right more action another 
keeper. All right, look at that. Hitting the jig, hitting the minnow. see my bobber is 9, 10 feet in front of me. There we go. I just got smoked. Oh yeah, something's got it. But I told you that hook's not on there good for that minnow, so he could have just pulled that bad boy right off. Oh, Jumbo. Almost a Jumbo. Look at the color on that. Yeah, he smoked it right in front of me. There it goes. Another good one. Keeper. It's probably gonna be a dink. We've got a dink minnow on. Small minnow, small fish, right? Let's see. Where are these big crappy? Oh, you have one. Jumbo. Jumbo. No, it's not Jumbo. It's the same thing. It drifts all the way down to right about here. And then boom. Just like that. You start messing with it. Come on, we need some more big perch. Or the crappie to come in. One or two. There we go. We got something. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that, man. Giant. Giant, guys. Ten. Oh my gosh, it's even fatter. <sighs> Look how fat that thing is. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got some good eating tonight, guys. There we go again. Come on. When you guys see this, this is right at the tip. There we go, that's another good one. Another good one. Oh, he stabbed me with his top fin. It's a nine inch perch right there, guys. We are on him. Back at it. <sighs> Got a live mini on. It's just that same spot. There's got to just be a whole school of freaking big perch just sitting there. Uh, 
about an eight inch walleye. Thank you, buddy. Oh my God. Spillway number two, getting, <laughs> getting it in. First time we got a catfish out of here. First time, man. Maybe our barbers are too low, man. You got those hemos, right? No, I got, no, I got flyers on my outside, yeah. You said what? What do you need? I said maybe our barbers are too high, oh, man. Yeah. It's just uh, what it is. They like those barbers. Um, I'll get them off, but he's a little bit wiggly. But they, those catfish are sitting at the bottom, man. Maybe we're rubbing the bottom. Yeah, we're rubbing the bottom too much. I'm going to bring up just a little bit more just because. Yeah, that'd be smart. I'm gonna yeah, do that next time much. I come in. Yeah, there's a good way to handle these too. Just gotta make sure they're really like not wiggling and stuff like that. Because they will wiggle on you. And they will, you just gotta grab them. Right. So you grab them right underneath the gills here. And just hold them really tight. Because they're, they're stiff. Okay. There we go. Just like that, baby catfish. What kind of you know that? That's a, that's a, it looks like a bullhead. A bullhead? Yeah. Bullhead. Nice. Can't eat those, Can't unfortunately. Eat those. Not, not that small. No. No, nice fish, man. Add it to the species. Now we got another species out of there. Oh, get it in! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There he is. I see it. Oh, look at all those minnow he has in him. Wow. He's, he's been taking your minnow for a half hour. Dude. Now you got hooked. Oh, that's a nice giant. You need a tear it up That's a good one. Yeah. Nice and nice. Yeah. Good color on that fish. Good healthy fish. Oh! Jumbo, that's a jumbo, dude. Ooh. That's a jumbo. That's a jumbo. Doing a spin a rooney. <laughs> I think it was spinning. <laughs> oh. That's, you know, taking a, a nice vibe. That's a nice one. Wow. Makes you not want to leave. <laughs> I know. One of those every five minutes is a good day. I got to come back to the camera for one of those every five. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. 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 Even bigger one. Jeez, this bar first was schooled up now, right? Yeah, here. schooled up now. Nice. Nice. Man, that's good. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna drop my crappy rig down there and then go from there. Yeah. Switch back. Oh! Another jumbo. Real addiction. Real addiction, baby! Pop, pop! Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> Again! Alright, alright guys, if you're wondering why you're not seeing any fish with me, it's because I haven't caught anything but a small crappie. Real addiction. He's killing it. That's what, your eighth or nine? That's about my ninth one, guys, so stay tuned to the real action, because I am with the Bassmaster. <laughs> We're going to get on something bigger here, hopefully. These perks are giant, though. Alright, stay tuned, guys. Ooh! Get him up, dude. There we go. Bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> Barely put down, buddy. Hey guys, I'd like to take a second to introduce myself. <laughs> My name's Josh. Um, I'm Julius's cameraman for the day. <laughs> as he just absolutely. Oh, get it. Oh. That's like that. No. Yeah, so 
he's just gonna keep slaying these fish and I guess I'll just keep filming for him. Make him a video, put it on his channel. Real addiction fishing. I mean, look at that. Maybe I'll get into something eventually. I'm fishing right next to him using the same bait and nothing, so. Yeah, I guess karma. Karma sucks for all the times I run my mouth to him, so. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. Catch me something. Yeah. I did catch me something. Now, now get in there and get something. You're no, dude, ahead. keep going. You're hot right now. I'm not. Dude, get in there. Get a little side the wall. Got it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Finally found one and it's three inches. Quar another aquarium, another aquarium fish. All right, guys, here we're um, trying to been catching, we've been trying to catch perch, excuse my French, perch, and some uh, different other species over here at the spillway. But anyways, I do want to give you some thoughts in your head and some delicious, you know, yummy, yummy feelings. So here's some fish that we caught today. Some pretty big ones here today, as you can see. And some nice ones, nice colors on them and stuff like that. So get out here and have one. We also caught some crappie over here too. So get out here and enjoy these crappie because that's what it's about, okay? We got a couple big ones. They're all big, mostly big nine inches, nine inches, you know, eight, nines, tens, you know, in here. I got about 10 of them. So let's stay tuned and let's get still active. Uh, I didn't get no walleye today, but you know, it is what it is, but stay active to that show. And as you, as you know, go get your baits over there at the uh, bait shops, over there at Kurtz, over there at East End Angler, you know, bait shop, over there at, uh, you know, go to, to uh, the East Ave. They're all everywhere, guys. But anyways, let's 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 see what we're using here. The things that we were using was the bobber that I do have. Um, it's a slip bobber, but they do have a thing over there at Kurtz. He has a new bobbers that have like these, the rubber, the rubber that goes over it. So if you do have these, these are good to use. They got a weight on them. Um, about six foot down. So about six foot down, use a little pinpoint with a metal and get crappy. I mean, all different kinds of species. So let's stay good and let's stay active. Let's stay humble and let's stay kind. Thanks for watching. All right, there you go. There's the uh, second spillway video I wanted to put out for you guys. Uh, so you can see Julius put a whooping on me. I got some good ones, like I said. Um, right now it's just tough. The perks are sporadic. I can't get on any bass enough to make a video. Um, I got a you know a couple of random pike, small pike, and different things. So this spillway is the place to be right now. So I keep coming here. Got a bucket full. Um, we'll see. Uh, We'll see what happens next week, guys. I'm, I'm still looking for places to fish before it freezes over. So hope you enjoyed these spillway videos. Um, by my views, it looks like everybody's really enjoying these. I was hoping to break them up a little bit before I put another spillway video out, but sometimes I uh, just gotta go to where the fish are. You know, come spring, come summer, the fishing is gonna be multi-species everywhere in Lake Erie. So stay tuned for that. Um, but you know, we gotta get that ice. That ice coming in, we got to get that lake frozen. We got to get on some uh, ice fishing. So, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, got all the gear all ready to go. Uh, just need the uh, lake to freeze over. I'm not sure if it will or not. So, enough of me talking, guys. If you're watching still and you're not subscribed and you like what I'm doing here, hook me up. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like on that video. Throw me a comment. Tell me it's bad. Tell me it's good. Tell me to go screw off. I don't care. Just uh, let me know what you think of the video. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.